Today we're going to be taking a look at the best custom fit wiring options on our 2013 Dodge Avenger. The two best custom fit wiring options we're going to have is going to be from Takancha and Kurt. Now while these wiring are very similar between the two, there are a few differences that could make or break which one works best for you. When it comes to durability, I'm going to have to give that to the Takancha. It's got that extra potting material that really makes this solid, as well as the nice splice connectors. When it comes to power output, I'll have to give that to the Kurt because it does offer a few tenths of an amp more for each circuit. And then when it comes to ease of installation, I'll have to go with the Takancha. It requires no modification to your vehicle and everything lives on the outside, so it's a bit easier to install and easier to access when you're ready to use it. The biggest difference between these two wiring kits is how they're installed and where they live in your vehicle. Our Takancha here is going to install relatively similar, but everything's going to be routed on the outside of your vehicle and all of its components are going to live on the outside of the vehicle. Whereas our Kurt, you're going to have to remove a lot of the same components but everything's going to stay inside the vehicle. This can be a large difference if you use your vehicle's hitch often. If you use it all the time, it might be convenient to have your four pole connector mounted on the outside right where you can get to it. If it's only used occasionally, having everything mounted on the inside can be nice because it's a little bit cleaner looking if it's tucked away and there's less chance of any corrosion occurring on your four pole flat connector. And then also when installing these, since this one does live on the inside, the connectors that go to your tail lamps will have to be routed right through the grommet onto the outside behind your tail lamp. In order to do this, you will have to cut your grommet to slide them through and reseal it back up with some of the black silicone provided in the kit. Whereas the Takancha here is mounted on the outside the entire time, there's no cutting of your grommets required. And then when it comes to amperage output, our Kurt is going to be a little higher, offering 3 amps maximum output for your stop and turn signals and 6 amps for your tail lamps while our Takancha is going to have 2.1 amps for the stop and turn and 5.6 amps for the tail amps. The other big difference is the durability of the components. Whereas this one lives on the inside, so the box doesn't have quite as much durability as our Takancha here that lives on the outside. It's packed full of potting material, which keeps out any moisture, dirt, debris, and if, if it rocks around a little bit, it keeps all the components inside the box nice and secure. Whereas this is absent on the Kurt. So if it rattles around, some of the components may potentially come loose on the inside, rendering it inoperative, and it may not be quite as waterproof without that material. Another small difference is the splice points. On our Takancha, it's got a very robust splice point where it goes from one wire to two. This is gonna hold up over time and through the elements. Versus our Kurt here, which has our standard heat shrink splice connectors. While this is a good method that'll work properly, it won't hold up to the elements and vibration and durability over time, like our Takancha's will. And now we'll talk about how they're similar. They're both gonna provide you with the necessary lighting with your flat pull floor connector here for your left turn, right turn, brake lamp, and tail lamp for your trailer. They're both gonna be fuse protected and have a control box that will separate your vehicle's wiring from the trailer wiring. They'll both also require them to be connected to a power source. A benefit of them being connected to a power source where some boxes don't require that is that it draws power directly from your battery rather than using it from your existing circuits that go to your tail lamps. So my personal favorite here is the Takancha. Everything lives on the outside, it's ready to use it when you need it, and it's known to be a little bit more durable because of that potting material. And that completes our look at the best custom fit wiring options on our Dodge Avenger.